When I was a missionary in Peru and a young man, God was really prospering the church and it was growing. And this, uh, this Peruvian pastor came to me one day and he sat down in front of me and he said, Paul, I've come here to rebuke you. And I said, well, okay, brother, why? You're leading your people into idolatry. I said, brother, that's a pretty stiff charge. What's your grounds? He goes, when they have a problem, who do they come to? So they come to me. I'm the pastor. And what do you do? Well, I pray with them. I look in the scriptures. I do, you know, I show them things. He goes, Paul, as a pastor, you have taken the place of God in their life. He says, these, he says we're Peruvian. We were, we were raised to believe that the priest had all the answer. You've just exchanged places. And I said, well, brother, what should I do? He said, when they come to you, the first question ought to be, have you tarried with God? What has God shown you? How has God helped you? How has God directed you? And Paul, when they tell you, I don't know what you're talking about, then say that God is the only one that can fix your problems. And as a pastor, I will help you find the answers. I will lead you back to Christ over and over again so that you do not draw your life from me. You do not draw your wisdom from me, but from God. And so people would come to me and they'd say, Brother Paul, I have this problem. And I would say, okay, what is it? What's this, this, this? What has God shown you? What, what do you mean? Well, how much have you studied the Scriptures with regard to this matter? And how much time have you spent in prayer? And they'd say, well, I have, you know, I have, I came to you. Exactly. I want you to go back and I want you to study this. Now, there were some times when it was a crucial matter that had to be addressed immediately. But for the most part, I could say, I want you to go back and study the Scriptures and pray for two weeks. And they'd say to me, I don't even know where to begin. I would write out a list of all the texts. And I would say, take this, go home. Cry out to God. Seek the will of God. Come back and I will continue to instruct you and lead you back to Him and back to Him. And if you come to me with a wild interpretation, I'll show you a better way, but I'll keep pushing you back to Him. You see, believe me, we need pastors. We need teachers. We need these things. But what you've got to understand is there are no priests except Christ. There are no high priests or mediators except Him. Now, that doesn't mean you're an island unto yourself, that you should never go to a brother, or you should never go to a pastor. You most certainly should. But you shouldn't bypass Christ. 